Welcome race fans to another exciting day of action for the Go Nuclear Late Model Series. Mother Nature was unkind to the tour last night, but has shown her brighter side with a beautiful fall afternoon upon us. The remnants of last night still linger throughout, but with a few modifications, the teams can move through the pits and the focus can go back onto the race cars, in particular the suspension, which we'll explore in detail later on. Park your ride and get ready for the late model slide next on the Atomic Power Racing Hour. Welcome to the Atomic Power Racing Hour and another round of competition for the Go Nuclear Late Model Challenge Series. I'm Paul Small. We're back once again at Mohawk International Raceway. We're not quite in Canada, but you can see it from here right across the St. Lawrence River on the Aquasasne Reservation here in northern New York. This track was opened in 1986 as Frogtown International Raceway, but was purchased by new ownership in 2009, and since then it's been completely renovated to a fast four-tenths mile semi-circular oval track. Momentum and handling are key at this facility, and today there's an extra curveball that's been thrown to the racers. This was originally scheduled to be a nighttime show, but Mother Nature dumped about two inches of rain with severe thunderstorms on the facility last night. The show is scrubbed. It now becomes a daytime race where the conditions will definitely be slower and slicker than they normally would be. Let's see how the drivers handle the conditions now as they take to the track for hot laps with the call. Here's Rich Fleck. Well, the drivers are certainly surprised to see the dry conditions upon them this afternoon as they get cranked up for their one and only hot lap session of the day. Billy Isley away in his number 18, as is Harry Holiday in the 13W and Kelly Weiss in the 77. A number of top names are here for the first time this year, including Darren Peters in the 1P and Alan Fink in the number 28. They battle off of turn number four right now behind one another to find some bite around the speedway. Peters gets very loose entering turn number one, barely saves the race car, but that goes to show you how loose it is for some of these teams that were not expecting such dry conditions this early in the afternoon. The 38 of Joe Hall underneath the 12 of Kyle Sopaz and Sopaz washes up the racetrack and Joe Hall will scoop by in his new ride. Art Halliday and Rick Miller also engage in a two car battle as the hot lap session comes to a conclusion. So they head back to the pits and get ready to go for their three heat races coming up next 